I will divorce you if you carry on like this. I am getting fed up for this change. This is driving me crazy. I keep telling you. I keep reminding you. I keep repeating myself to you. What are you doing about it? I love you, but I am not going to sit down here and die for you. I like you so much, but these things of your attitudes, it kills me. It brings me down. It makes me go crazy and wild. I don't want to continue like this because I may hurt you. And because of the love I have for you, I don't want to hurt you. So if you don't make a change, if you don't improve, if you don't learn and practice, this is not going to end as well. Divorce does not mean I don't love you. Divorce does not mean we are enemies. Neither divorce means we are haters. Divorce does not mean we cannot be friends again. Divorce means I love you. I don't want to hurt you the more you are hurting. I don't want to hurt you more than you are hurting. The more you hurt, the more I feel your pain. It's a shame I cannot please you. It's a shame I cannot meet your needs. It's a shame your emotional, you know, is too much for me to handle. I really want to be there for you. I really want to care for you. But it's getting too much. It's getting out of my hands. Divorce, that's not me. We are haters, neither enemies, or we don't love one another. A very good evening to you. Yes, this is Grandma Young Lady on Life and Duties Ministry. Obra, any abrabo, a sumu, enamidi, matuao, fefefe. Our reja ye enchrese ye ye atanfo. Our reja ye enchrese ye chukura anaye tanye hon. Anase ye ba ye hunye 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 se ye bedi ye hunye hunye na ya tete ye na ye wu debi. Our reja ye bi wawa ye jiayi no wo odosu. Me doa su me si me penasem. Ne ni ama we di e minti mi bi wu e hame. E te te me, e di me nya. Se me nya ya wari na mi tine mwa. Mi an sha me ye bwane. Anase ononso ebe ye me bwane. We are both hurting. Despite we love one another. Does not mean we should die for one another. No, we came to this world separately. We will live separately. Yes, we must practice love and it's even a command. We must love genuinely, sincerely, faithfully and every way we can to make love grow and become blossom and successful. But it's rather unfortunate. As much as I try, I get it wrong. For me, I am doing my best. To him or her, no, it doesn't please her. It doesn't please him. It doesn't satisfy him or her. We are both arguing every minute in our relationship, in our marriage life. Whilst we are dating, we don't see the way out. We are talking about relationship, marriage, separation, and divorce. Divorce does not mean we are haters. Some people have to quit from their relationship because they have sat down, think, have a thought, decide that no, I like her. I even love her. She's good, he's good. But if I weigh the pros and cons, it doesn't match up. I don't want to hurt her. 
I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to hurt her feelings. His feelings. I don't want to go the extra miles. I can see I will not meet the needs of this woman. I can really see I can never be able to satisfy this man in question. Why should we carry on like this? We are pretending in the marriage. We are faking it out. He has cheated once, I have forgiven him. He has cheated twice, I have forgiven him. Third time, I have forgiven him. For how long I know I am hurting, but I have to continually pretending all is well. But meanwhile, I am grieving, I am dying, I am bleeding inside. My pillows are wet with tears every now and then. I am dying. I am losing my hope. I am losing my future. My focus and my talent in life is fading away, all in the name of marriage. What can I do to better my life? What can I do to improve my life? What can I do to achieve my goals in life? As a beautiful lady, as a handsome guy, full of energy, my dreams are all dying in the name of marriage. Marriage contributes to happiness, but it is not the main character of happiness. Listen to me again, as I like repeating myself, because when I am sharing messages like this, I want us to get the full meaning and the message. Marriage contributes to happiness, but it is not the main character of happiness. If you are happy and you can maintain your happiness, if you are happy, and you can, please do well, maintain your happiness. Do not just throw yourself in marriage expecting extraordinary happiness. It might not happen, but it might. If you get the right one in relationship, in marriage. Yesterday, my sister made a statement. One lady put it on her status saying if you get a good marriage it is your heaven on earth i can't agree more if you have a good marriage a good relationship a good spouse i am telling you also it is a heaven on earth but if you fall into the wrong hands hey but if you fall into the romantic, loving, caring, tender-hearted, then it is your heaven on earth. I really want to have heaven on earth. Before heaven above. If I can't make it here. Because some marriages. Are putting women and men. Into hell. Hell on earth. Mental hospital. I was counseling a lady. Who was going through divorce. And the statement. She used. That I couldn't continue. The counseling. I didn't end it, but I couldn't persuade her to stay in the marriage. She said, Grandma, young lady, please, I appreciate you so much. That is why I didn't come to you when I was going through the challenges. Because you have counseled me to stay in the marriage before. That was four years ago, and I did stay. I honored your words. Holding on to them as if there will be an improvement, hope, and the future. But all these four years I did honored your ways and stayed in. Nothing improved. 
If I have to list the things I have been through these four years again, you will tell me to quit. But as for you, because you are grandma young lady, you will keep telling me, my sister, let's try again. She told me, if you really want to visit me in the mental hospital, then please, grandma, encourage me to accept this man in my life again. Sis, from size 16 to size 10, I was dying. She was wearing size 16 in dress. She went down, 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 down to size 10. She wasn't doing all year fasting. That is not what this lady was doing. When I came back from Ghana, I phoned her because I love her. I respect her. She supports everyone's ministry. I said, sis, come home. I just want to hug you. Even when I was in Ghana, the support you were giving to me, it was too much. She didn't come. So we have to do Zoom meeting, you know, just to have friendly chat. And then after, I heard the divorce and I was talking to her. She said, that is why I didn't turn up. You will be shocked and scream and ask me, why have you lost this much weight? Who are you computing in slim teams? She wasn't computing all the models. So. It was the psychological and the emotional trauma. This man was putting her through every day in her life. She don't know what to expect anymore. This man is cheating not with one, not with two, not with three. What is your strength for cheating? Dating three women at the same time. Yet, you want to come home. And the woman and the children has to celebrate you. Because you have come home. Doing us favor from cheating. At long last, you have come home. So we need to cook your favorite food. A lot of you will say. She said, if you don't want to visit me in mental home, please, I appreciate you a lot. But this one, you can't get through to me. My mouth was zip straight away. Because if you are counseling someone and the person is able to open up like this to you, how much further you'll be able to penetrate to straighten the way back to same marriage that she was dying from size 16 to 10. Marriage does not mean we are haters. Marriage means we love one another. We have differences. Let's see if we can meet our differences. Let's see if you can sacrifice a little bit to make me feel special, superior, happy. And I'll do the same for you. But if I see you throwing all my happiness away, selling it on a cheap ticket on the street, you are putting so much burdens on my head, my shoulders and my heart. I don't go to bed happy. Because my husband, my wife has betrayed me out there. He or she is selling me so cheap. Showing my privacy to the public. To the woman, to the men who does not even match up my type. It's a disgrace. It's very shameful. And yet... People want me to stay in the marriage. Yes, I agree. I love him. Yes, I agree. I love her. She's beautiful. She's very respectful. She know how to cook. But she don't know 
how to satisfy me in bed. I am full of energy. For that matter, I am dying. I am grieving. I am sad. I am not accepted. I am not satisfied. I want to move on. I may quit not because I am going to enter into another marriage, but because I am complaining too much. I don't want to continually complain. You two, you are getting fed up. After my complain, I see you stress. I see you angry. I see your ego rising to hit, rising to damage, rising to break. I don't know what will happen that day that you will try to hate, that you will try to speak out. The worst that I can see it coming, I cannot take it in. Let me go my separate ways. This does not mean we are haters. If I divorce you, if he divorce you, it does not mean he doesn't like you. Sometimes people divorce some people because they like them. They value them. They respect them. They even can have eye together because the beauty, the charm alone is so valuable. I see myself so useless. I want to make the effort, but this is my personality. This is my nature. I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. He or she has taught me several times. I still get it wrong. It's killing me also. Seeing this woman, seeing this handsome man, complaining at all time that I am not satisfying him. Meeting his needs, his happiness, his sexual, you know, and everything. I am failing him. He's failing her. What can I do to make this better? Ten years, no difference. I've tried. Let me move on. Leave this person to also recover. Maybe she or he can find whoever that can meet such needs. That hunger. There is food somewhere. There is food somewhere. There is ice cream somewhere that can comfort this woman who is grieving so much. I don't want to hurt him or her how much I've already wrong and hurt him. Let me move on. Let me divorce the person I love. Please, I am here to encourage Many people who has already gone through divorce. Stop judging this man and this woman so wrong. It's not everything we can explain as human. Sometimes our explanation will not even make much difference. It will make sense to you because I am leaving you. I hate saying bye to people, especially when I know. I am going to be long away. Explanation will make it up. But it is good. Some of them who is able to explain to you when you are going through separation, divorce, ending some relationship. Please find time to express yourself. Explain. You know, let them know your reason of leaving them. Sometimes they need answers. Sometimes it's just a small thing. It can be dealt with one more time. Give yourself another chance. But if you still don't see the way out, you don't see the unity. You don't see the love. You don't see the intimacy. You don't see the romance way. You don't see any connection. Connection. Marriage is connection. If there is no connection, 
Ha ha ha! There will be no light in it. If you want to light up your light, you need to press the switch on the wall. The switch is connected to electricity power. Without the power, press that button 10 times, 20 times. It will never light your light on for you. Marriage is connection. Relationship is connection. If spiritually, physically, emotionally, you are not connected and you want to connect, it becomes challenging. It becomes war. And you keep fighting and fighting and fighting over and over, over and over, over and over. Then, you must as well think, what is the best option? And that depends whether you have tried so many things and yet it did not work. Then you have to conclude it. We are not meant to be in marriage. We were meant to be friends. Then we turned the whole thing into the higher level that we could not manage or handle it. If this be the case, end it very well. And please, each other should know that we are not haters. We are not enemies. It did not mean I did not love you. I did. But it's a shame I cannot please you. I cannot meet your needs. I cannot make you happy. The woman, the man you want me to make you. Even myself. The way you want me to carry myself, I was not born like that. We should know that nobody was born just like us. We are different people. But there are so many things we can learn. Because if you dress roughly and your spouse said, please, honey, can you change your lifestyle a bit? The way you dress like this, it embarrasses me. You know, looking at you alone makes me upset. So change your lifestyle. Listen, your food presentation puts me off to eat your food. That is why I just do chop, chop, chop and leave the food and go to the restaurant and eat. Or go and cheat and eat out there. Yeah, be honest. Because you are cheating. So go and cheat and eat there. Now, I want you to learn something new. Improve the way you cook and the way you present it. I like you so much, but the words that come out of your mouth, sometimes I want to vomit. And I can't keep vomiting because you are talking. No, me too. I need to store some food because I need energy. I am talking in parables now. So if you really want me in your life, change your tones change the tunes because it's doing my head in. it's driving me crazy i can't wait to run away from you i am giving you a warning signs of divorce yes before you give divorce give a warning signs because some people learn from warning signs don't just divorce Give warning signs, verbally, action, anyway, body language, but better, verbally. Say hello, I love you, and you know I'm not joking. I'm not just rattling you, I really do love you. But this is your sign that if this continues the next year ahead, I may divorce you. It did not mean I don't love you. I do. But I am choking. I am not going to die for love. I want to live for love. Not die for love. Yay! Yes! I enjoy everyone. Now I say yeah, no. I am the only grandma who is a young lady. Makramo and is bye for now.